We are less than 24 hours from a series of firsts for America's space program, the first manned orbital mission in nearly a decade, and the first using a privately owned and operated spacecraft. But it all depends on the weather. CBS's Mark Strassman reports tonight from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Tomorrow's launch forecast, improving. For SpaceX and its Falcon 9 rocket, there's a 60% chance the weather on the launch pad will cooperate for a moment in space history. Along the U.S. eastern seaboard, seas are calm. That's important. Launch escape initiated. In a launch crisis, the SpaceX capsule would ditch to safety in the Atlantic Ocean. Flash down. You genuinely believe if something goes wrong, you've got options. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. NASA astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley have both flown twice before to the International Space Station. They're more than crewmates, they're best friends. I gotta believe that's a help. It absolutely right? is a help. I think we're way past the polite stage in our relationship. <laughs> the space agency hired the scrappy startup to design and build a new generation of spacecraft. For starters, the Falcon 9 is reusable. That revolutionized rocketry by slashing costs. Astronauts in streamlined suits will climb into a crew capsule with a retro look outside. But with all its gee whiz technology inside, Crew Dragon has been compared to a flying iPhone. What does this moment mean to you? This is the culmination of a dream. We spoke this afternoon with SpaceX founder Elon Musk and NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine. Man, they're cool, cool as a cucumber, nerves of steel. I sent him a text. I said, if there's anything you want me to do anything. to stop this, exactly. <laughs> totally. I'll, yes. I'll stop it in a heartbeat. Yes. And both of them said, we're go for launch. They're, they're, they're brave. Musk also told me that early on he gave his fledgling SpaceX company less than a 1% chance of succeeding. It's now poised to make space history. And now, of course, the astronauts, once they launch, are supposed to spend at least six weeks up in the space station. But for now, everyone's concern is just to launch them safely. Nora? Mark Strassman, thank you. And a programming note, Mark will join me tomorrow for live coverage of the SpaceX Crew Dragon launch tomorrow afternoon. We'll come on the air at 4.20 Eastern time. Hope you'll join us.